Hello, good morning students. Welcome back to Ecosystem. And today uh, we are going to study forest ecosystem. In this forest ecosystem, we will discuss the following headings like what is forest, flora and fauna of a forest ecosystem, forest floor and role of decomposers in a forest. Now first of all what is uh, forest? So forests are large ecosystem where a variety of trees, birds, insects and microorganisms live in harmony and they live in a natural environment and different forests have different types of plants and animals depending on climate, climatic conditions. So if the climatic condition is different, there will be different kinds of animals and plants present. Now the forests provide us different types of fruits and they also provide different kinds of fibers, uh, all um, the timber and all we are getting from the forest. And forest has on the floor of the forest, the decomposers are present the, like microorganisms like my, bacteria and fungi are present in the soil and they decompose the dead plant and animal and rich the soil with nutrients. Due to the recycling of nutrients, a forest is a self-sustained natural ecosystem. And this uh, uh, nutrients are again utilized by the plants for growth of uh, plant. These uh, plants again when they will die again they will be decomposed by the microorganisms. So a forest ecosystem has biotic, abiotic components and the decomposers also because of this this uh, this system ecosystem is known as self-sustaining a forest is hence called to be a self-sustaining natural ecosystem now trees in the forest purify the air by providing oxygen and forest also uh, provide habitat shelter and food to the animals now next is what are the different types of flora and fauna are present in a forest. So flora means plants, fauna means animals. So there are different types of animals and plants are present at different level like there are topmost layer, uppermost layer, then understory layer, then shrub layer and then herb layer and then after that it is the forest floor. The lowest most is the forest floor. So in uppermost layer plants like tall trees like saw, sal, arjun, teak are present and animals like eagle, snakes, monkeys are present. An understory layer means an understory layer you will get the different kinds of uh, uh, plants like mango, neem, people, papaya etc. and uh, animals like monkeys, trees, frogs, snakes and squirrel. In shrub layer you can get shrubs of flowers fruits and berries and bam bamboos etc and the animals you can get in this layer the butterflies, dragonflies, bees, ants etc and in herb layer you can get it consists of plants, different herbs, uh, flowers, fruits, ferns and mosses and in uh, animals, rabbits, snakes and mongoose are present now forest floor in this has moss, mushroom, very tiny herbs, pollen leaves, seed, fruit etc. Whereas 
uh, animals like earthworm, millipede, centipede and ants are present in the animals. We were discussing the flora and fauna of the forest ecosystem. So now the next is forest flow. So forest floor is an uneven soil surface of the forest present below the herb layer and it has dried and fallen leaves, branches, stems, seeds and fruits and it also has animal dung, droppings, dead animals and animal waste etc. And it is a habitat for number of animals like earthworm, millipede, centipede, snails, some decomposers are also there in that, that is fungi, bacteria and other microorganisms. So this uh, forest floor is home for all these things. Now the forest floor is generally dark as not much sunlight reaches here and it forms a kind of spongy layer of fallen leaves and twigs. The forest floor is warm and humid due to the decomposition of dead and decaying matter. So here generally the decomposition takes place so because of that the uh, surface or the uh, uh, floor is the uh, little warmer because the activities are going on there with the help of microorganism. So it is little warm and it is also humid. So forest floor uh, has uh, all dried leaves, stem, plants and uh, microorganisms are present in that. The millipede, earth, uh, worm and other organisms are also present. It has uh, droppings, uh, dead animals and animal waste etc. So, so many things are present in the forest floor. And from here only the plant grows, they get the nutrient. The next is decomposers. So decomposers are, you have already studied. Now how these decomposers, you can see that after death and decay of all this and animals, decomposers work on them and they uh, change them into the uh, simple uh, substances. So what is the role of decomposers in the forest? So we are going to discuss that. The forest have a wonderful way of clearing the forest of all the waste and recycling the nutrients with the help of decomposers. And the forest floor has a number of decomposers that we have already studied like bacteria and fungi which feed on dead and decaying plant and animal matter. And these decomposers, they convert the dead organic matter into a dark colored substance called humus, which is rich in nutrients and it mixes up with the soil in the forest and enriches the soil. The nutrients released in the soil are absorbed by the growing plants. So in this way, the decomposers help the forest to clean also. They provide nutrients also and at the same time, they are also uh, helpful uh, in... Uh, uh, decomposing the dead plants and animal. So in this way decomposers are helpful for the uh, forest for other uh, places also Dis decomposers are helpful in cleaning the environment. So students he here uh, the ecosystem chapter is over and uh, the assignment which is given that you have to complete it